The Cheese Boy 628 Show, starring Cheese Boy 628. Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Cheeseboy628 here today giving you an LC Pokemon Showdown battle. And this is a team you may recognize. It's really a, an extremely defensive team. It's just Sandshrew and Trubbish setting up a bunch of hazards while we have Frillish able to spin block and then Lickitung is just to phase out with Dragon Tail. And then I've got a physical sweeper being my Scraggy and then my special kind of sweeper, I guess being Scarf Smoochum. Now looking at my opponent's team, I see Poliwag, I know what that is, it's gotta be Belly Drum. Diglett's going to be a Trapper, Abra's just a big threat, Shelder is going to probably be that Shell Smash variant, Electrode's just fast, probably Specs or Life Orb, and Ponyta, I know they're always offensive whether it's Life Orb, Scarf, or Band, I'll find out. So if I get enough hazards up, I shouldn't worry about any kind of sweepers trying to sweep my team. So yeah, let's see how this battle goes. So I start off with my Trubbish just to try to get some hazards up, but right away he starts out with Poliwag and I'm like, okay, maybe I can just go for a clear smog to try to get that belly drum useless. But he uses Hypnosis so I have to switch out, and I do have a plan here with my Smoochum. I'm going to trick him this Choice Scarf so whatever he's locked into, he's stuck in. So he actually is locked into Waterfall, I do have Water Absorb, and I'm guessing he just wanted to stay in thinking that I might predict him and try to switch out, because he seemed to be very stubborn about staying in. So that's why I go for Scalds a couple times, because I just don't want to Toxic like an Abra for example and just get no damage. But yeah, I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball after that in case Abra comes in or just do any damage in case Poliwag tries to stay in. But I just go into Trubbish now. I'm going to take the T-Bolt pretty easily since I'm especially defensive. But now Abra comes in and I really don't have a great counter. I have to make pretty good predictions in order to see what Abra is going to go for and be able to get something safely in to actually harm this Abra. Thankfully the Crunch does bring it down to its Sash. I'm going to predict the HP fighting once again. Go into my Frillish and now I can go for the Scald and take anything that Abra has to offer. So I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball actually this time, and the Poliwag does come in, and it's really not going to be able to do anything. It looks like Waterfall's its only attacking move, I guess. So basically that Poliwag's just going to be useless against my Frillish. I'm going to take it out with another Shadow Ball. Now he brings in his Voltorb, and I'm just going to be pretty careful about this. Turns out I have no idea what that HP is. Maybe it's HP Ice predicting Sand True. But Lickitung just takes everything like a boss. Lickitung is so good. So bulky. So I'm going to come in with my Sandshrew. I'm fully physically defensive, but I don't take that Flare Blitz well at all. I guess I could probably say it's probably banded, but you see the Life Orb recoil. So thankfully I am going to take it out. I'm not going to go for the rocks because I just want to take that Ponyta out. So now Diglett traps me in. It's going to go for an EQ. And then now it's going to go for the Sucker Punch of my Frillish. And I was predicting that, which is why I go for the Toxic. He probably should have just went for the EQ anyway since it only does slightly less damage. Now he substitutes after he knows that he has Toxic, so I don't really know what's going on here. I'm really just going to recover stall so it doesn't like try sucker punching me or anything, which it does here. So I'm going to be basically at full health by the time this thing goes down, which is going to be pretty fortunate as I'm going to need to be at relatively high health for what he has left. So he actually does bring in his Voltorb, and I'm going to switch out, going to my Trubbish. It's basically not going to do anything. And plus, it's able to get that Life Orb recoil onto Voltorb. Turns out my Lickitung didn't take it pretty well as well. So I'm just going to stay with Lickitung here and then switch out now, as basically I'm just going to fodder off Trubbish. Just want to save switch into Scraggy, which I am able to get after predicting the Psychic. And now I'm going to go into Frillish, predicting the HP fighting. And I'm just at a safe position right now because I'm able to go for the Shadow Ball and take anything that Abra has to offer. Now he brings in his Shelter here and he goes for the Icicle Spear right off the bat. It's not even stabbed because it's only water. And so I'm really not sure what he was thinking there. I'm not sure if they run Rock Blast. I'm pretty sure they can. But thanks to two crits, he's able to take me out this turn. I think I would have lived with 1%. If you didn't crit, but it's really not a big deal, I can just stall that thing out. If I try shell smashing, it's not a big deal, I do have the dragon tail. And I can take anything this has to give me at a neutral amount of stat boost. 
So I'm going to just fodder off my trebuchet here. I was actually hoping that Aftermath would actually work, but it turns out it's only if it actually makes contact. So I'm just going to be safe here. I'm going to do a bit of protect stalling and then fodder off Scraggy if I really need to. But I just want to see if Lickitung can take an Icicle Spear. Turns out it can, so I have no worries. I can take out that shelter with the Dragon Tail for a pretty narrow 2-0 victory. So that was an awesome match, A Blank Infinity. Thank you all for watching as always. There's going to be a Team Building Tuesday tomorrow. Get excited for that. There's going to be some cool stuff I can talk about in it. So see you all tomorrow. Like, comment, sub, and until later, peace.